finally sorting out that little pile that was there with uh, the little tree that I've put in as well. I don't know if you've noticed there is new wood chips which I'll go over with you in a sec. Hello folks and welcome back. My name is Jamie and this is my allotment. So for today's video I'm just going to give you a, a little plot tour I think, show you what I've been up to, what's currently growing, sort of talk through a few plans I've got. Um, obviously as you would have seen in the last video I, I was planting up bits and I sort of mentioned with the, the carrot bed, I'll show you those today as well. I'll give you a little tour of the new chicken run that we've made and also in a little look inside the coop which is just to my left separated by a, a wall that I've made. Again you need to remember I'm not a joiner or a tradesman so take it easy on me. I will spin you round and we'll get cracking with a little bit of a plot tour. So let's just walk down to the bottom here. Yeah, we'll walk down to the bottom of the plot. So this is the there's the bags of compost there that I bought this morning, ready to go. Here's the front gate. I still need to clear out, especially inside here, and pull it down. There's the pile of wood. Oh, you can't even see it. It's underneath the tarp, obviously protecting it from the rain. The fire that I had, I'll show you that as well. And the PVC door that is going to be part of the entrance. You can see quite a lot of puddle in there. I need to get some more wood chips down. On this area just to get it covered just behind me we've got the the chicken compost bay just behind the the gate i've got the manure pile and we have a wood chip pile as we come along there's a little pathway leading up which has got some nice daffodils some of these are looking a bit sad some of the tulips as well looking a bit sorry for themselves it probably doesn't help with all the rain we've had some of these are looking quite nice now, aren't they? Especially when the sun's out. And then we've got the original chicken coop. And then here is the fence me and my wife put on the other day that leads up to a gate. And we have toast and speckles. Named after Old Speckle Ten. Lovely, lovely drink. <laughs> got the new wood chips that uh, I got the other day and I've placed them down I think it looks so much nicer with the actual wood chips and then we come to what is going to be the potato bed I do need to get back and dig it over get as many weeds out as I can and possibly give it a vote of it I was going to put some potatoes in um, but speaking to plot neighbors and whatnot I've decided to wait at least another week before I start putting them out and then we come to a, an apple tree that I was kindly gifted by a, a plot neighbour. So I do need to try and tie these up into each other maybe. Just so it's a bit more organised. Hopefully we get a nice a nice few apples off of that. And we come to our rhubarb. Which if I do say so myself. Is coming on great. Considering it was uh, transplanted at the end of last year. I think it's, it's done really well. And a smaller crown there. And then we move on to the little apple tree that I put in. It seems to be doing better. There's still life in it. Give it a couple of years and hopefully it'll be giving me some nice some nice apples as well. And then we come to the first of the palette collars. This one here. I actually believe there's some cabbage in here. I don't know if like, there's one just here. And here. I do need to prick them out. I'm only going to have sort of two small cabbages in this, um, on this end, and then the remainder of it's going to be a strawberry bed. But I'll just put these in as I was passing. I just chucked a, a, a small bunch down. Um, like I say, it's just going to be two small cabbages for my chickens. And then these two other pallet collars, I'm going to get the wood chips out of there and replace it with manure. And then put a mixture of sand compost on top. And I'm going to attempt to grow my carrots in them this year, as well as the pipes, which I'll show you in a second. And then we move on to 
the next two beds which are part of the the video I did on to dig or not to dig and to be honest first appearances this one here is the dig bed this is the no dig bed so I've given both the same amount of manure this one I obviously dug it in this one I didn't I just put the cardboard down laid that manure on top just by looking at it you can see that the by the looks of the manure and the, the straw and bedding and stuff is actually broken down a lot better than what it has on this one so that's that's going to be an interesting one to follow forward see how we get on and then we move on to the the only bed that's actually got crops in it at the moment we move on to the the garlic which was planted for last the beginning of december i believe it was i did do a video on it if you want to go back and check it out you can see exactly when i planted them, them out and then these onions i actually thought i was going to have to pull these onions out um just purely because it didn't seem to be doing a lot but then like danny from the grow up channel said roots before shoots so i'm guessing that's what they've been doing they've been laying in the roots and now that the, the nicer weather's coming about they are actually starting to shoot so that saved me having to rip them out and i'm very happy with how the garlic is looking hopefully i'll get a, a good a good harvest from them and then we've got another another bed i sort of did in the no dig fashion um which i might just dig over to be honest so i can i can see in areas a few bits of the weeds are coming through just dig it over get it dug out and sorted this corner i'm going to show you all the bad bits as well but it needs to be sorted out there's all sorts behind these metal containers as you can see there's glass there's metal there's plastics metal sheeting some sort of bush down the bottom and a chunk of weeds that's all gonna get sorted in the summer i'm gonna dig through it all when the weather's a bit nicer and then we come to this area here which i'm eventually gonna flatten hopefully get a shed on it just beside the greenhouse because then that way i can run some sort of pipe in through and hopefully put some sort of heating system in place where if i have a fire in the greenhouse in the shed which will be there i can then heat the greenhouse through and we have the chicks in here um i'll leave them be i don't want to disturb them too much this bed here is the one that i did a video on a couple of weeks back digging over same as this one um so i do need to go through and break them up again just an, another d weed before i plant anything in and my tubes at the end for my carrots that i'm planning on putting in the tubes i have got the lid on top at the moment just to stop the, the rain washing any nutrients out and just making the compost useless so i've got the the glass on top at the moment obviously once i've got the, the carrot seeds in i'll then look at removing it or maybe building it up a little bit just to give them a bit of cover maybe um so yeah this is this is the plot my, my plan like i was saying previously i want to get rid of all them that in the bottom right hand corner get rid of that shed and move the gate back so i've got a bit of a driveway things like the wood chips come and they can get dropped off in there and i don't have to worry about a clog in the path and then we come to the dreaded corner this ibc tank is eventually going to be plopped here on some blocks so it's lifted up i can access it through the tap and i'll have a drainage system coming off the side of the shed straight into there um yeah it is a little bit boggy at the moment it's wetter than an otter's pocket was a phrase i heard the other day <laughs> which i thought was quite thin yeah and then we got all the glass at the back that i need to dispose of the bathtub the metal the windows the tables oil drums empty plastics and then i'll try dig this corner over and level it as best as possible let me just spin these back around and this i think the, the difference these wood chips make compared to the old ones it just makes it look so much nicer and then as we're walking down we come to my palace or will be a palace eventually i still need to bring up a little table 
ignore the uh, the expanding foam. <laughs> that was just for a bit of in insulation. Um, I want a little camping table in that corner where the chair is, so that I can bring my fire down, my my gas stove, I should say. Sorry. Um, and actually have a cup of tea. But these, this is how the walls are looking at the moment. Got some tools up on the wall. A little nail there for the bag. This is the wall that separates me and the chickens. And I know some people will be thinking, well, why is there a hole there? And why is it only netting? Surely it's going to start smelling. But the thing is, I'm literally down every day sorting the hens out. So any droppings that happen, we're getting cleaned up straight away. This is where the chickens are. So, and then you come round, and then there's the hole there. And there we have it, guys. That is the plot and what we've been up to for the month of March. We've got some big, um, some big months coming up now, getting into the growing season. I know a lot of people are setting quite a lot away already um, and looking online and seeing other people's videos I do feel um, like I'm a little bit behind but speaking with plot neighbours and um, especially Harry across the way from me as I've mentioned in previous videos the, the climate in the UK can be crazy especially up north so the way he's looking at it is we're about four possibly five degrees colder than what people are down south. He's, he actually mentioned the sort of Kent way. Um, we're like four degrees colder than what we are down there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take his advice and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go crazy planting things out just for them to either not germinate or start and then we get a bit of a chill. Apparently in a couple of weeks time we are due to go back down to one degree so I'm not liking the sound of that. I'll continue what I've done at home. Um, with things on the windowsill ready to transplant, but until I get a form of polytunnel that's going to offer proper protection, I don't think it's it's worth me wasting seeds. But I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching this long, for taking the, the time out of your day to watch my video. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, if you could hit that like, smash the subscribe, be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below what's it like where you are. Temperature wise, is, is it starting to warm up? Have you got the spring? Is it a false spring? Who knows? But I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.